Boom, we're live. Boom, we're live. It's Chris Igo, Igo Home Group, powered by Remax Direct. It is Get Some Monday, which is uh, very exciting. It is President's Day, which um, is a federal holiday. What I did not realize, I think it's a federal highway. Uh, drink some coffee, start over, rewind the tape. All right. I'm Chris Igo. I go home group. Power by Remax Direct. And uh, this cup of joe is for you. Ah, and by you, I mean me. Anyway, it's uh, President's Day. So what does that mean uh, for uh, ourselves and our business? It means nothing. It means it's time to get on the phone and uh, connect with some home sellers some buyers and sellers out there in the market and uh, offer them something of value, add them to the top of our sales funnel, continue to build our database, create momentum, do big things, get stuff done. Um, and it's just like any other day. However, comma, there is a little bit of a, uh, a wrinkle in my uh, daily actions in that I did not realize <laughs> that my girls did not have school today. And on top of that, my eldest daughter is a little, um, it's a little bit trick, uh, a bit of a trickster. She uh, conned me into believing she did not have school today when in fact she has school today. So uh, needless to say, she is not at school. So uh, we're playing hooky here at the Igo household. Uh, if you are under the age of 40, if you're over the age of 40, then you are doing big things, getting stuff done and creating tremendous momentum in your life um, so that we can uh, win the day every day. So, all right, let's see here. There are 29 records to call for today. <clears throat> uh, five of them will be filtered out. They're in price points that I don't particularly care to speak with. Um, the rest of them will, so it's Vulcan 7 data. It's uploaded into the Mojo dialer. I use the Mojo dialer because it's a triple line dialer. It allows me to crank through a, a fairly big list quickly and if there are 24 records to call there's probably two or three phone numbers at minimum to crank through so uh anything i can do to uh, make myself more efficient with time I'm, I'm a big fan of so we're gonna crank through that list right now and as always if you or anyone you know is even thinking about moving to south florida we are constantly helping buyers from around the country and around the world buy homes here in South Florida. We absolutely love it. So if anybody's thinking of moving to South Florida, whether it's to escape winter, escape taxes, or simply just to uh, come down to South Florida, we would love to help. We will pay you a fat referral if that's applicable. We will help your client get exactly what they want and we'll get them the best deal out there. So we would love to help and you can uh, hit me up, um, you can send me a message, DM, whatever it is, uh, send the carrier pigeon, as my uh, boy Jackson likes to say, and uh, and we will do a, uh, an amazing job for them and for you, and everybody will be happy. Um, all right, if you're watching on YouTube and you find this content to be valuable, then please like, subscribe, ring the bell, smash the subscribe button, and, uh, and tell a friend. And uh, before we get on the phone, I always want to uh, ensure that from a mental perspective, uh, I'm dialed in the right way. So I want to, my mindset is always that I have a fiduciary responsibility to connect with these home sellers who were out there on the market. They hired an agent, their agent failed them and they left the market unsold. So I know going in that they're probably going to be a little bit crusty, a little bit disappointed. Um, you know, I, who knows where they're at. I'm more interested in controlling the controllables. We are real estate uh, sales professionals, we are offering a high value service, so we are not going to take any bullshit and we're going to um, offer them something. Joshua Harris, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I'm glad you liked it. And um, if you would, please click the link, like, subscribe and join us over on YouTube. Tell a friend. Um, and if there's ever anything I can do to help you, you know where to find me. Uh, but anyway, so I have a fiduciary responsibility to them. I'm going to survive the 30 seconds or five to seven seconds of dissonance they're going to throw at me because I know, especially if it's 10 o'clock on a Monday, I'm calling leads that uh, have accrued over the last uh, weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, today, these people have been getting bombarded by uh, people on the phone already. So I'm like the 50th person to call them. I already know that. 
But um, but here is what I want to share with you. Uh, uh, Matt Cavanaugh and I are doing it in person, as you can see in the background. Um, I go home group, Cavanaugh team, Boiler Room Boot Camp. We're doing a live in-person Boiler Room Boot Camp. This will be our third. It's out in California. It's April 1st through 3rd. Um, this is a success incubator. This is going to be the trial by fire. This is going to be the equivalent. Um, if you know my story, you know I was a stockbroker for 18 years. We are looking to, to, to condense that learning curve into a three-day boot camp event and you will walk in one thing, you will leave another. You will be dialed in, you will be 100% squared away and good to go, ready to attack the day and set appointments at will. But we created a Boiler Room Creed, which I am going to share with you now. And uh, if you are an alumni or alumnus of that, you know what it is, but this gets me fired up every morning. My voice is a little bit shot, so I don't want to get too crazy. Um, but this is this is the boiler room creed. I will dominate my competition. I am the best salesperson on the planet. I have a responsibility to get the business. Clients make more money with me than anyone else. I do not quit. I do not take no for an answer. I will keep pushing. I am bulletproof. Get some. All right, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get some. 24 records to call, and away we go. And if you're interested in learning about the boot camp event that we're doing in April, there are links associated. I'm assuming that <laughs> I think I included a link. Um, if not, I will put a link on there. But you can reach out to me. You can reach out to Matt. Um, we are super fired up. It is going to be awesome. Uh, the last two that we did were... Um, I think we set 70 appointments on the first boot camp. I could, you know, I, plus or minus 10 in either direction. Um, the second one, I think we were closer to 100 appointments set. Um, but it's a uh, it's a total game changer. So I look forward to seeing you guys at that. And if you sign up now, I believe there's a discount code for 25% off. But nonetheless, I am cranking through the list. We are doing big things. We are getting shit done. And away we go. Um, so that's a great question. I've, um, I use a combination of a variety of different, uh, scripts. All of them are in the Facebook group. So feel free to uh, just look in the file section. It's not about the, um, look there, there are, if, if scripts are what you're looking for, then Google scripts, find the script that work for you create your own. Um, that's exactly what I did. So when I first um, committed to mastery of of setting appointments, I went out there, I found a bunch of different scripts. So there's all kinds of stuff from Tom Ferry, Mike Ferry. Um, I like Aaron Wittenstein stuff. I liked uh, Fearless Agent stuff. Um, I like Joshua Smith stuff. I like Matt Cavanaugh stuff. I like my own stuff. And I took the best of the best. I put it into my own words and created my own uh, my own scripts. And it's a hodgepodge of a bunch of other stuff. There is no unique thought Your message for in this two, zero, subject. Three, four, eight, two, one, six, six, eight. Uh, but Matt and I have compiled what I like to call the um, the objection handler Bible, if you will, um, the bulletproof sales guide, which will give you everything that we use to uh, to set appointments at will every time we do. And uh, again, that will be part of the uh, the alumni or part of the uh, in-person mastery event. I seven zero <clears throat> six one four nine. Um, all right. What's up, Darius? What's up, Jim? What's up, Amir? What's up, Doug? Josh? And everybody on YouTube, if you are on Facebook and you are watching and you find this content to be valuable, what's up, Sean? Then please smash the button, or I might click the link, then smash the button and join us on YouTube because we're looking to... Uh... Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth could you possibly hang up on me? So we're just going to call them right back. Ooh. So one of my tricks, and it's not really a trick, it's just um, 
what I do. When somebody hangs up on me, I just immediately call them right back. And they might call back. I mean, they may hang up on me again. But hello, it's Chris Igo with Rem. Oh. It's it's rare that at ten o'clock again. So at ten o'clock, I know that that person has at least been bombarded fifty to a hundred times already. So I am late to the party for the daily expired. So with the, again, keyword daily, daily expired, you want to be one of the first people to connect with them. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of the world if you don't. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing <laughs> had expired in the MLS. How on earth did the property not sell? What's up, Mike? We're doing big things. We're getting stuff done. I see you out there cranking it out, doing a great job. That is awesome. Um, all right. So 24 records to call. We're just cranking through them. If you find this content valuable, please click the link, like, subscribe, join me on YouTube. I see there's one lonely soul watching me on YouTube and eight on Facebook. Hello. Not that I don't appreciate the love on Facebook. I do. But if you would, please be kind enough to join me over on YouTube. Hello. This is Chris Igo. I don't do no such thing, ma'am. You can tell me how to live my life. All right. So we're cranking through the list. What's up, Tom? And again, we're just making the donuts. So there's no... Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? What was that last list of what happened to be a connection? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me better now? A little bit, yeah. Oh, well, that's good. I, I was called. How on earth? that you want to know? Yeah, how on earth did the property not sell? Oh my, because you guys never showed it. I got That's news for you. I, I know real quick, I didn't even know it was listed. While you were on the market for 273 days, did you have any offers? Ooh, you guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got a live one. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, it's Chris Igo. You just hung up on me. Real quick in closing, it looks like you were on the market for 273 days. Did you have any offers while you were listed? Yes, I did. Were they just not high enough? Now, what else would you like? Why don't you call my agent? You don't have one. You're listening. Even it, yeah, you're. Even that it expired. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have one. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, okay. it sounds it sounds like they failed you. Real quick, hey, put put your guns back in your put your guns back in your holster. I'm not, put your guns back in your holster. I'm not trying to sell you anything. We're calling them right back. So if if you'll notice, I'm matching their intensity. So they want to blow me off and be kind of dickish. I'm going to do the same to her. You don't have an agent. Customer you have called is unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, this is Chris Igo. You just hung up on me. And newsflash, you do not have a realtor. Your uh, listing expired last night. It left the market unsold. And I suspect that your agent failed you because you were on the market for 274 days without a sale. So let me ask you, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, your home would sell. Two, you'd end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way. 
Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Give me a call back. Chris Igo, 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. Now, the odds of her listening to that are zero. I know that. But nonetheless, <laughs> we're going to crank through the list anyway. We're going to be committed to the process. We're going to be completely detached from the outcome. It's all about getting the reps in. So I know if I continue to take the daily committed actions uh, that I take every day, it will create a tidal wave of momentum, which will crash down in a uh, tidal wave of success. But it starts... Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Woo-wee. So we're just going to call them all right back. <laughs> you hang up on me, I call you back. That's the, that is the name of the game. <clears throat> What's up, Kirsten, Michael, Tom, Mike, Sean, Darius, Jim, Amir, Doug, all five of you. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> What's up, Stefan? We're doing big things. So... Calling the daily expires at 10 o'clock on a Monday is the equivalent of getting your teeth kicked in. That's okay. We're committed to the process. There's never a bad time to get on the phone, right? So on the daily expires, I prefer to be one of the first to connect. If I miss that window because I didn't realize it was President's Day. Hello, this is Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Chris, you're the 27th person that has called me today. I was hoping to be number one in your heart. No. No? Okay. No. I, I know you're getting up. I need everyone to stop calling me. I will be happy I to. Need everybody. Like, I'm going to lose my mind. Please I'm don't. Person, so yeah. like, I can appreciate it, but sure. like, I just absolutely. I, I don't understand it. why everyone's calling me on Sunday, why people are calling me on a holiday, on a Monday, yeah. why you're calling me. Like, it it so sounds like you might be developing P California. Yeah, no, I get it. It sounds like you might be getting some PTSD around this. I know it's a, a real pain in the butt. You're getting a lot of phone oh, calls. No, I'm not selling that. Okay, real good. Now, quick, quick question in closing. All right. Well, it looks like you're on the market for 184 days. Did you have any offers while you were listed? Okay, I totally respect that. Just so you know, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices down here in South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Let me ask you, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, your home would sell. Two, you'd end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way. Real quick question in closing. Would it offend you if I texted you my contact information so that you... <laughs> All right. Well, the good news is I at least know that I have the right phone number. <clears throat> so I can text her my latest, greatest, top of the sales funnel, uh, click funnel, which of course is my 14 day guaranteed sales program. <clears throat> Seems like she's going to be ready for that. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? I will tell you two things. Number one, don't call me again. The house is not for sale. And don't call me again. Well, real quick question in closing. It looks like you were on the market for 171 days. Did you have any offers while you were listed? <laughs> uh, so, going to have to call him back. <laughs> 
So this is a, a contact sport, right? So when we are smiling and dialing, and by the way, I hate the term smiling and dialing. I want to match. I want to mirror. I want to reflect whatever energy they're bringing to me right back at them. I find that to be effective. Hey, hello. <clears throat> this is Chris. I go with you. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. It's Chris. I go with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious. How on earth did the property not sell? Uh, don't know. I um, I have heard from other people who've heard from that. So I don't think I've heard from you. Yep. Uh, this is actually my mother's property. Okay. This is my cell phone. Awesome. So I don't, I'm not sure how well, that's happened. I, well, first of all, I'll tell you exactly how. First, the, there are data companies that source this information from unsold listings. Right? I, I know. You, so, you made the yeah, list. So it's a thing. That's why I don't generally answer any calls yeah. that I don't recognize. But that, I'm being blown up this morning. You made the list. You made the list. Congratulations. Now, you mentioned you don't know how it didn't sell. I know exactly how it didn't sell. There are three reasons why properties don't sell, and I suspect you know all of them. However, if it's your mom's listing or your mom's house, then speaking to you is probably not the right person. What's her best number? Uh, well, here, I can pass shit over to you if you like. Sure, that'd be fantastic. Here you go. Thanks. Hello? Good morning. This this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. Uh, you can stop talking. Sure. I'm listening. All the people who keep trying to call me, I am going to unlist, delist, remove my phone. Oh, good. I Re can't even drink my coffee. Oh. So. Well, well, real quick in closing, it, it looks like you were on the market for 184 days. Did you have any offers while you were listed? I am not talking to you. Do you not understand English? Well, it sounds I speak English perfectly, and it sounds like you need to take the cotton out of your ears and put it in your mouth for a second because I'm going to give you an education. It looks like you were on the market for no, 184 you are days. Not. Yes. Now, just so you know, there are three reasons why properties don't sell, and I suspect you know. <laughs> yeah. Evidently, I'm not, but I'm not about to let her. So I'm a huge proponent of maintaining your energy, right? So if somebody says something like, I'm not going to allow you to speak, I'm going to try to connect or take the power away from them, keep it for myself and continue to push. If they hang up, <clears throat> they were going to hang up anyway. So you never want to lose the ability to have the momentum and the power in the conversation because as soon as you do, you're done. What's up, Chris? What's up, Austin? We're doing big things. We're cranking through the list. And we're about 14 records deep. So, hello. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Um, thanks for the call. You're welcome. We're all set, though. Okay. Did you did you pro did the property sell? Hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we've had about twenty five calls this morning from you, seven a.m. So yeah, no, you made the list. Well, you don't have one. Your property last night in the MLS. It looks like you were on the market for 377 days. Um, did you have any offers while you were listed? We actually did, but if you want, you can call our, our agent. It's going to be re -up. Yeah, well, that's so the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing. I do. I, listen, we work with 2,500 active buyers right now. Just so you know, I'm with REMAX Direct. We've got six offices down here in South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Now, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. And it looks like you were on the market for almost 400 days. You mentioned you had some offers. I'm assuming they weren't high enough. 
Let me ask you, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, your home would sell. Two, you'd end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Okay, so I, I think you, and, and you said these calls are, are taped for yes. your training purposes, right? That's, that's correct. So I think by, by saying that it, it's insane, you imply that I'm insane. So I, no, no, no. I didn't imply that you're insane. I said doing the same thing over and over, doing the same thing. It is. Now, but, but you misheard what I said, because what I actually said was. Can you do me a quick favor? I can do you time for a second. Sure. Right. I, I, I'm sure you can. So why don't you text me the name and number of your broker? Why don't you, if you have a buyer, then you can certainly bring the buyer and make an offer and we'll address it accordingly. I'll do one better. So is, I, I know you're getting a lot of phone calls. You made the list, but let me ask you, is it possible to lay eyes on the property and see if it's something we believe we can get you multiple offers on and sell fast? Sure. Why don't you call Miss Spiro and set up a time for you to bring your buyer that you believe you have that you sold so many properties in this neck of the woods. I appreciate this. Well, I, I, I also do. I do, but I also would would appreciate the the similar. Look, I'm I'm not here to waste your time, and you know that, right? So, what I'd like to do is run an analysis on your property as it relates to price, and email it to you. What's your best email address? Uh, Please call the agent so, to bring the deal. Let me be very clear. I'm, I'm currently working with 2,500 active buyers, and one of the things and I do... I wanna, that one of the 2,499, maybe one of them isn't going to be a legit buyer. Yeah, and so here's, here's, here's what I do. Here's what I do. When I lay eyes... I'm, I'm in a meeting. I, I love to talk more. Listen, people who are in meetings don't, people who are in meetings don't take phone calls. So follow my thinking here. I'd well, like... I'd like well, to. You're, you're actually wrong. I take phone calls and I actually walked out of my conference room awesome. to talk to you because of your posture that you took. I appreciate so, that. Please, uh, you're, you're, you're in, wrong. In closing, you do take phone calls. Awesome. Multitasking. They still please call. I will. Spiral, you, and by all means, if you have your buyer of your 2,500 people, yes. please write the offer. Here, here's what I will do. In closing, we'll take. In, perfect. So here's what I'm going to do. Instead of giving it to one of those 2,500, I'm going to send it to all 2,500. And here's how I'm going to do that. When I go to lay eyes on the property, I'm going to shoot some content. I'm going to blast that to my database of active shoppers okay. who are looking for property I similar to yours. That. I appreciate it. So awesome. please get a hold of this spiral and set up a time. But here, here's the thing. You don't have an agent because it expired in the MLS. So that's why I'm going I, directly I, I to you. I do have an agent and she okay. will be up in the MLS. Okay. And what are they going, just out of curiosity, what are they going to do different this time to actually get the property sold? That's a great question. You should ask her. Okay, great. So is it possible, to, is it possible to, and I'll connect with her, is it possible in the interim to text you my contact information so that you have it? This way, when I call you back, you know who I am. Please call her. I, I will save you. I'll take a screenshot of our conversation. I'll remember exactly who you are. Absolutely. So please go ahead and so, uh, give the fire a call. I'll right. be happy to. Now, when I do sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, uh, outstanding. When we do I'm sell sorry. the, I said that's outstanding. When we do sell the home and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job we did? I, I would love to do an amazing testimonial. Please come with Spiral awesome. right here off for this afternoon. Fantastic. Um, what? Their, their awesome. Now, what's your best email address? Uh, again, please call Miss Spiro. We have any. Okay, what's Miss Spiro's number? It's not. I don't, I don't see any of that. All, all I see, and actually when I'm looking in, at the uh, the listing right now, I noticed that you're not syndicated to be blasted everywhere that you could get representation within the okay. MLS. So, so uh, I suspect uh, uh, it, I, I, it wasn't marketed the right way. I walked out of, but I appreciate the call. Thanks very much. Listen, you have a fantastic day. And in the interim, do you know, anybody, do you know anybody else thinking about buying or selling real estate that I might be able to help? Be honest. 
Uh, I'm very honest. Absolutely not. Well, I appreciate your time. You have a great day, my friend. So that's how you keep pushing with somebody who does not want to talk to you or give you an inch. Not one inch. He would not budge. Wouldn't even allow me to tell. <clears throat> I'm not available to take your call. Please leave me a message and I'll call you back. Thanks. He still will receive my um, automated top of the funnel 14 day guarantee. <clears throat> All right, so we're cranking through the list. We're doing big things. We're committed to the process. We're detached from the outcome. Um, as evidenced by everyone who I've spoken so far, I'm like the 25th person to call them. They are not receptive. <clears throat> Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious how on no, earth. We don't have a listing. It never did. Thanks. Oh my goodness. I got the wrong number. Hey, do you know anybody else out there thinking about buying or selling real estate that I might be able to help? Ooh -wee. It is cold outside in South Florida. <clears throat> But we continue to crank through the list. Ah, uh, yes. So, as I mentioned earlier, it's President's Day. I did not realize that my kids had off from school, or at least one of them did. <clears throat> so, my dying schedule got thrown off a little bit. But that's okay. We continue to commit to the process. Crank through the list. Automatic voice message system, John Casey. Ooh. All right. So, really, all of this should illustrate to you is for the daily expires, get on the phone early. I find it's most effective with the daily expires to uh, to hit them. Be one of the first to hit them in the morning. Or converse. Hello? Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I record my calls for training purposes. I noticed your property uh, is for sale by owner. Is that true? Correct. Outstanding. I love it. How much are you asking for the home? It's um well, it is it's three point one nine five. Outstanding. And how many bedrooms? How many baths? Um, it's all on Zillow. Where did you see it that you don't see the description? Uh, that's a great question. So I see it on, uh, on Zillow. I see it on Trulia. I see it on Hubzoo and uh, all three are owned by the same company. So you would, you would think they would get the data syndication, right? They don't always, and it's inconsistent. So okay. that's why I'm asking. Yep. So how many bedrooms? Yeah, how many um, bedrooms? It's, it's four bedrooms, four and a half baths. It also is a, um, uh, a upstairs living room. Okay. Um, I love it. And have you done any upgrades or improvements to the property? Um, well, the house was built in 2008, so it is all, um, it's only 10 years old. Right. 10, okay. 11 years old. Oh, okay. I love it. So let me ask you, are you trying to sell the house by not having it on the market with a real estate professional? Is it because you're trying to save some money on commissions? Um, yeah, we want to save the money. We want to I love it. Well, listen, it, it always comes down to the bottom line. I totally respect that. Um, just so you know, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices in South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Let me ask you, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with us, two would happen. One, your home would sell. Two, you'd end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way, with or without an agent. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. No, I don't. No, I don't care to hear anymore. Um, if you want to, if you want to show our house, that's no problem. Like I said, we'll give you three percent, um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Is it possible to lay eyes on the property and see if it's something we believe we can get you multiple offers on and sell fast? Um. 
Yeah, I have someone coming over tomorrow at 2 o'clock if you want to come around like 2.30 tomorrow. All right, outstanding. And in the interim, would it offend you if I sent you an analysis as it relates to price and emailed it to you? Yeah, I don't need that information. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, the number I just called you on, it's your cell phone? Yes, it is. Okay, so when we get off the phone, I will text you my contact information. If you would, just please save it in your phone. I know you're getting a ton of phone calls from other realtors. I want you to remember who I am. Uh, tomorrow, okay. tomorrow at 2.30, uh, would it offend you if I was there at 2.45? Okay, great. Now, let me ask you, when we do sell the home and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job we did? I most definitely would. Outstanding. I love it. All right. So just to confirm, so there's no misunderstanding, I will see you tomorrow at 245. All right? That's correct. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye. So tomorrow at 2.45 for a $3.2 million listing, I will absolutely 100% giddy on up over there. The magic happens in person. So that was not the most qualified uh, appointment setting on the planet. Um, but anytime I can get in front of somebody who is geographically close to me, that's at that price point, that is always a win. So get the reps in while you can. All right. So uh, it should also be noted that now the real win would have been getting the email address there too. I suspect it's in the, um, it's uh, somewhere on the internet. So I'm going to see if I can find it um, and then add her to the top of the sales funnel. Um, but nonetheless, so 22 records called so far, I've been on the phone for 30 minutes and I finally got somebody who was halfway receptive. Um, and it should be noted that that was a FISBO, right? So the for sale by owners are going to be a heck of a lot more receptive to answering the phone, although they're also getting beat down, but the daily expires at 1030 are typically, they're going to be shot out. Not saying don't call, definitely get the reps in, definitely get the momentum. You never know when you know, somebody else's schedule is going to dictate their availability. So there's never a bad time to be on the phone. But strategically, if you've got the opportunity to be the first to connect, that's where you definitely want to uh, you want to be. And again, I missed that this morning because I didn't realize that uh, my kids didn't have school. Is unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message after the tip. What's up, Justin? What's up, Harvey? We're doing big things. If you all found this content to be valuable, then please like, subscribe, click the link, join me over on YouTube. We're looking to uh, build up that platform. And as always, if uh, you or anyone you know is ever even thinking about moving to South Florida, we would love to help. We're constantly helping buyers from around the country and around the world buy homes in South Florida. So if we can help with that, we would love to pay you a fat referral if it's applicable and um, and get them exactly what they want with the best terms possible. So let's just look and see what the, um, the numbers look like from that uh, dial session. <clears throat> so there were, what did I say? 22 or 24 records to call. It was 58 total dials. It was 13 contacts. Uh, contacts are defined, or at least the way I define them, is somebody who just picks up the phone, says hello, um, and then one appointment set with uh, with a FISBO, which is really just kind of like a FISBO preview. But um, if you have the, if you've got the time, get in front of those FISBOs. They are where the magic happens. Um, and for this one, it's a, what is it? A $3.1 million listing. I always want to get in front of somebody at that price point because 
it's three point one million dollars. So anyway, that's it. Uh, hopefully that was valuable. If you liked it again, please join me on YouTube. And if there's anything I can do to help, you know where to find me. So go out there, win the day, win the week, win the year, win your life, get some. And if there's anything I can do to help, you know, what to do. what's up, Tommy, get some.